Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react. It was really tough going, preparing this one today. Uh, not just because it was time consuming, but because it was very arduous watching it. Um, I'm not a hard-hearted person. I really am. I'm really not. Um... It was really tough watching somebody make a real spectacle of themselves because, you know, as much as she irritates me, as much as she drives me mad, as much as I want to put my hand through the screen and strangle her sometimes, I'm still a human being and most importantly, I'm a parent, I'm a mum. And I just kept thinking while I'm watching her, this could be my daughter. And it was really difficult to see somebody, like I say, making a real spectacle of themselves. She was pie-eyed. In fact, at one point I thought she was going to pass out. And of course, she's got the ciggy in her hand. And I thought to myself, if she drops that, the whole place could go up. It's not just her, it's Pete's. And there's those two pussies, you know. Um... It was really sad, actually. Really, really sad to watch her. I didn't finish it all. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get through it. It was just, you know, she, her words were slurred. I couldn't understand half of what she was saying. But I did do quite a little bit. So let's react to what I have done. Uh, I heard tell um, on social media that Pete's apparently has had a bit of a, a bit of an upset on live stream and he had a bit of a meltdown and embarrassed himself actually a um, bit of a swearing tirade I don't know if I really want to react to that because I personally and well I've said it before on my channel I personally think that um, uh, Pete's has special needs I, th I, I personally believe that he's he has autism I think he's on the spectrum same as my son and um, from what I could see of the little clips that I'd seen on YouTube um, it was quite um, horrific actually watching somebody have a full full blown meltdown as much as he's irritating as well and drives me crackers to see himself succumb to these trolls that are in his chat chat it, it was quite sad as well you know because and obviously now that he's done that they're going to be baiting him all the time I mean he's literally given them exactly what they wanted in the first place so he's never going to hear any end of it now that's it now he's set the scene they're going to be bothering him and harassing him in his chat 24 7 um Someone had said that, you know, she'd, she was she on a live stream at the same time that he was having a bit of a ding dong. I'm not too sure on that. Something about that she was laughing at him on her live stream. She was listening into him, uh, you know, going on the way he does. But I'm not too sure of the, um, whether that's fact or fiction. Um, I might have a look at, I might ha have a look up. Um, on YouTube after I've done this and just see. Anyway, yes, yeah, so he was having upsets as well. So <laughs> they're both not very happy, are they, today? But anyway, let's get on with it. I'm rambling on here. Let's get on with the uh, react. What happened? Okay, so I chickened out. I would be driving to Montreal to meet with a guy. I have no excitement meeting so she's obviously uh, not gone to Montreal to meet this chap so all that glam was for nothing um, I don't know why I suppose we're going to find out in a bit um, why she didn't go and meet him to be honest after all that's gone on in recent days, weeks, months it's a bit, you know, soon to be Meeting up with somebody new, but you know, that's food. He can't be without a man for five minutes. 
But um, yeah, she's obviously not gone to see this chap. Let's find out why. I look cute. I should have followed through. Yeah. I need a guy who wakes up and looks at me every day and says, you're so beautiful. It's never going to happen. It could happen. It could happen. There's a pot lid for every pot, as my mum used to say. There's a perfect person for every person in the world. That's how it works. But to find that person, you've got to be the best person that you can be. So I think you've got a little bit of work to do on yourself before you start looking for that person. I think that it would be best for you to concentrate on your person and get yourself right and get yourself sorted out before you go and try and find that uh, special somebody. But there is one out there for you. Absolutely, I believe in that wholeheartedly. I don't think human beings are meant to be on their own. But, you know, it's nice to see you looking smart. You've got a bit of face on. You look like you've had a wash. You know, make sh you want to start making sure that, that this is a regular thing you do every single day. It'll help you. It'll make you feel better. I wasn't driving around waiting for him to call Erica. You'll have to excuse the um, doggy drinking out of a water bowl noises because there's a doggy drinking out of a water bowl right next to me because you see my blow is like the rest of them in this house that as soon as mum turns on the old camera they start, he's, he's buggered off now to see if there's any food in the kitchen. Um, Getting back to our friend, there was a rumour going around that she was just, you know, driving around waiting for old Romeo to uh, click his fingers so she could go running. I don't know about that. We'll have to see. No, I was really going to go meet Mo, but... Moe's name was in Montreal. <laughs> oh, see ya! I just... So wonder she doesn't blow a ciggy out when she burps like that. You know when you're still into something, you're still not over somebody. Mm-hmm. So you have no enthusiasm for this other guy that you're trying to use. That's use, God, use. God, yeah. You're not, you're not using people. You don't do that. You said that before. on many occasions. You don't use people. You were using him, were you, to inflame Nada's ardor? That rhymes. That doesn't it? I'm a poet and I don't know it shouldn't use people when you start using people it turns out bad for you as a person because that comes around that's bad juju that is don't use people it's not nice oh that's true i just don't want to pee country i don't know what country mo is from he's african um he's black where did you meet him uh, on dating app Look at it. You can almost see the cogs. I think it's Ghana. Ghana. See, I told she you she's, she'd blown it out with that burp. Oh, stop puffing away like a bloody chimney on a bloody factory. Doing you no good. I'm not ready to finalize us by che finalizing us by cheating. Yeah. And cheating. You got to be with somebody to cheat on them. That's that's the significance of the word. If you go out with somebody else, whilst you're with somebody, you're cheating, but you're not with Nada. You're not with Romeo. You two are kaputted. You're not cheating. You're on the rebound. Honestly, the Dubai guy got pissed off at me for stringing him along like that, to use him as a... Make jealous, make Natter jealous tool. Why is that so fucked up that we do? Like, I'm, I, it's fucked up that I do that. Nada's never going to be jealous. 
because he doesn't care for you in the first place. You only get jealous over things that you care about. He doesn't give tuppence apne. It, it doesn't. I'm sorry to say this to you, darling. He doesn't care. That that game is not going to work with a man like Nada. All that will do is confirm to him that you don't care about him and that you're a whore. Because that's how he thinks of you. I'm, I don't want to sound nasty, but that's the truth, kid. You've got to face it. The man, it's like that film, he's just not into you. He really is not into you. Let him go. Cut the thread, cut the tie, the apron strings. He's no good anyway. It's like you want your man to be jealous, but not too jealous. You want them to be jealous because you want to know that some reason that makes you feel no. like they no, like... No, 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 no. I've had this argument with women before. A girl I knew, I used to work with her, her husband was terribly jealous of her. Re I mean, like, psychopathic bloody jealousy. And she used to get all flattered by it, you know. And she says to me once, she said, oh, Lou, you know, it does... It is a pain, but, you know, sometimes it makes me feel flattered that, you know, he does care about me. I said, he's not telling you that he cares about you when he's jealous of you. What he's telling you is, I don't trust you. If your partner, your husband doesn't trust you, your relationship is shit. If you've got no relation, never mind about love and passion. Trust is the most important feeling between two people. Whether it be, I've said this before, whether it be intimate, platonic, work relationship, friendship, any sort of relationship, you've got to have trust. When there's jealousy, that means there's no trust. That means the relationship is shit. It's broken, it's kaput, and it will never come back again. Because I don't care what people say. Oh, you know, we went to counselling, we worked it out. Bullshit. It will never be repaired 100%. And for me personally, if there's no 100%, that's the only number that I want. 100% is the only number I want between me and my husband. 99.9, .9, no good. 85%, no good. It's not a sexy thing, him being jealous. It's not amorous. It's not romantic. It's, it means that that person doesn't trust you. And that's a terrible thing. I would hate to think that my husband didn't trust me want you like they value you like they like you no it's you, you it's see, really just her, insecurity about themselves her thoughts on what makes him my man relationships are so skewed I, um i don't know where all this crap comes from being there almost 24 7 in bed with him and and we knew where to, a bed would have together? to be i don't know involved that's what i thought but whatever so, so, it's a pause again. Uh, no, you're right. I don't want my man. I actually liked that BB wasn't a jealous, very jealous person. Actually, I think Dee Dee's gone. Mom? Dee Dee's gone. Uh. Did I go to Montreal? <clears throat> no, don't share spoons with stinky meow meow. <laughs> that cat's not stinky. That house is stinky and she's stinky, but that pussy's not stinky. In fact, I feel sorry for those pussies living in a house full of bleeding weed smoke. Because I tell you this now, it stinks. It's a horrible smell. I think it's horrible anyway. The poor cats are living in that. This is why you don't smoke in your house. Just don't do it. Christ almighty. Why can't she hang out a window or go on the balcony and smoke it? It's a bloody shame. And feeding... Oh, and by the way, I haven't included in, in this in here, but she was feeding that puss ice cream. <laughs> I mean, I know I spoil mine, but ice cream, it's no good for him. I know he kissed Dee Dee. Oh, God, there we know the world has ended. So what? So what if he's kissed Dee Dee? You know, what... Why do you crave that mouth against yours? 
I think he's got a horrible looking mouth. It's like um, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'd hate the thought of his mouth round me. Oh dear, look at the face. <laughs> oh! It's just me on the cheek too on a video, on a live stream. The Koshari one. And then wiped his face, remember? What does that tell you, kid? Desperate freak. Yeah. Wait, he kissed her multiple times? Mm. What? <gasps> Don't get angry. They kissed on the lips? Really? Be grateful. This Didi's come along. And she's took your excess, excess baggage off your hands. You should be thanking this gal. Like I said before, you should be sending her a care package. Big box of chocolates, nice bouquet of flowers. Thank you, Dee Dee, for taking that toss pot off my hands. That woman is doing you the biggest favour and you don't even see it. Yes, oh, honey. let the puss have a leak. Tessadilla. Hey, Sadia. Go and get Tessadilla to raise us. Oh, it's oh, Gladys. Probably. <laughs> I wonder if this is before or after Well, the that's from Napoleon Dynamite. No, Montreal. No. I wouldn't mind having... I must admit, you know, where I live, we don't have um, any Mexican uh, restaurants. I wouldn't mind... Trying one of those quesadillas because I've seen other people on YouTube have them. We had Mexican food, of course, when we went to Mexico. I think we went in 2004. We went to Cancun and it was lovely. And I really liked their food. I thought it was, it was just enough spice for me. Dom loves spicy food. He loves his Indians. But sometimes they can be a bit too spicy. But Mexican food, it was just the right balance and I really enjoyed it. I just wish that we had some uh, mess. I mean, I'm sure there must be Mexican restaurants in the big cities like London and uh, Birmingham, Manchester, Newcastle, places like that. But, but we unfortunately, us yokel locals, we don't have it here. I mean, we've only just uh, got, you know, uh, Hernando's. I mean, that's just arrived not long ago. And that was like, you know, a bit crazy for around here. Shocked all the locals, you know. Blue bite. There's nothing beautiful about that bite. Shut your mouth while you're eating and stop making all those noises. I know it's case of you. Like a washing machine on full spin. She's got a load of, What's all that stuff down the side of her face? Button. I didn't get my CPAP yet, no. Why hasn't she got that CPAP? She needs that CPAP for her breathing. What if something happens to her in the middle of the night? Why hasn't she got it? She's left it. She's leaving it there as an excuse to go back and fetch it and talk to him. I really do believe that. She needs to get a CPAP. I was going to go to Montreal and meet a guy named Mo. You've said that. For, this is the I'm third not, time, not, lovey. <laughs> Stop going and on. Said, and then I chickened out. Because the guy said he wanted to lick me all over. Oh my God, I hope he had a big bloody tongue. And I'm not ready. Who'd say that to somebody? I mean, if this chap is real and she really was going to go and see him in Montreal, who'd say that to somebody on your first date? I wouldn't even tell somebody I was going to lick their stamp on the first date, never mind them all over. It was a hookup, wasn't it? It was one of those flings, one of those um, uh, leg overs, you know. Uh, what's, the, what's the word? Oh... It's a one like one night stand, basically, wasn't it? She was meeting it up with him for hanky panky. It's a hanky panky date. Nothing romantical about that. I've gone off mo now. I'm glad she stood him up. To let another man's mouth. I'm not meeting somebody over, so. 
You never know, kid. You might meet somebody one day. Sort yourself out. Oh, I out. just blocked him. It's kind of mean to just block him. It is. It's well. It's Maybe not so much mean. It's me. rude, isn't it? Really. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, you can flip. What that am I lying about? Scared me a bit. <laughs> The face filters? Okay. Let me check. The noises. I turned it off. I look fatter now? I don't know how to use those fatter, filters. Eh? Oh, sorry. Come on. Say something, kid. There's nothing worse than heartache. You're right. There is. There's a lot of things worse than breaking up with somebody. Somebody being ill in your family. Somebody passing away. All sorts of things. And heartbreak, I'm not, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not um, degrading it. It is It is really hard. It is really hard. I've broken up with people myself. But you're breaking up with a rotter, darling. You should be, you should be happy. It's, it's not as if you've lost uh, Prince Charming. It's not as if you've lost the love of your life, this wonderful man who treated you beautifully. Somebody that treated you horribly, that said horrible things to you, has gone out of your life. You should be tripping the light fantastic. You should be having a party with Pete's. <laughs> I have all the messages from Mo. Oh, so people in the chat are saying to her they think that she's telling lies about Mo, he's not a real person. But she's got all the messages, to, so she could, if she wanted to, prove it. Isn't that terrible? Isn't it terrible to think that your chat, think you're telling porkies? I'd be really embarrassed if I thought that people didn't believe me. But I suppose if you've been caught out in many a lie, this is what happens, this is a reputation, you see. She's got a reputation for telling lies. Unblock him. Yeah, it's kind of rude, eh? If I was, like, on my way. He's probably mm -hmm. still expecting me to show up. Oh, God. What? She's <laughs> having I'm pudding. not going anywhere tonight. <laughs> ah! Bogey pie for pudding. Is Natter alive right now? Just leave him alone. Look at the smirk. Look at the smirk. With I told you, she only smiles when she speaks I'm about it. I'm sorry, him. guys, if that was mean. Where's the wine? Don't be going on his lives. No, guys. Put your hand up and cover your mouth when you cough. I'm not... <coughs> Jesus. Thank you. It's those sparkles. Do you like them? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Someone call an no. ambulance. I think she's having an aneurysm. <laughs> what? I don't know what's being said, but it's cheered her up. Hi, Mo. It's not Mo in the chat, is it? Oh, my God. You've been caught out, kid. Well, we've had it all tonight so far. We've had, what have we had? We've had farting. Have we had a fart yet? No, we haven't had a fart, have we? We've had burping, picking noses, and we've had picking teeth. All we now need is a fart. And this vid video is complete. 
I can't believe I just blocked him. I can. Because you're blocking Queen. <clears throat> All the eyeballs are going. I can show you a message, but I can't show you his icon because you'll freaking dox him. That's t she's pumping that. Is she, is is she, done a, is she just slipped her, a silent one out? That sneaky little bugger. She's just, she has the little, you know, the little maneuverings and that little smirky smirk on her face. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Isn't it terrible? Yeah, I can show you the messages and block his icon. I don't mind. To prove to your own audience that you're not lying to them, isn't that a disgrace? I could do like a video if you want, just showing my DMs. My dating DMs. Dating DMs. You haven't, you didn't meet up with him though, so you didn't okay. go on a date. This guy was more like a platonic thing, kind of, but... At times, he did, like, at first, was interested in something more. How can like, he be seems like kind a respectable of type of kind of guy who would, like, respect if you're not really looking for a relationship like you just want. The <laughs> truth comes out. That's the thing. If I show you the DMs, I guess it would be... My COVID results weren't edited. Come on. Of course. They're giving it to us and aren't they telling her off? BBJ. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's mean, please. I want to believe. You guys really think I'm making him up? Yes, they it's do. It's so easy to just talk to guys online. Come on, anybody can do it. I'm sure so they don't can. Don't worry, I'm not flattering myself if that's what you're afraid of. I'm sure they could, but not <laughs> everybody wants to do it. You. And it was honestly, yeah, I guess a shitty thing to do. Maybe it was because you know that lad. I mean, yes, he was only after a little bit of hanky panky, but I'm sure there'd been some preparations. He might have bought you a bunch of flowers for when he met up with you. He might have arranged something. He might have swapped, done a shift swap at work or took some annual leave or no, you know, any number of things in preparation to meeting up with you, thinking he was going to be meeting up with somebody he'd been speaking to and looking forward to meeting. And you didn't, you, you haven't met up with him and you didn't even tell him properly. It wouldn't be so bad if you cancelled with him on, you know, with prop, properly, with a bit of respect, give him at least 24 hours. But he's probably got ready and everything, you know, shave and shampoo, put his Chanel blue on and everything, got himself all ready, he might have gone out and bought a new shirt or something to wear. And a waste of money. You can't mess people around like that. You know, if you're going to change your life, if you're going to get yourself together... You need to start with the very basics. Start with manners, treating people how you'd like to be treated yourself with a little bit of respect. And tomorrow, I think, maybe, and just explain, like... After the fact. I'm... I'm in love with somebody else, and... Oh, God. I was using you as a pawn to make someone jealous. Really ram it home, what a cow you are. That's a really shitty, horrible thing to do with somebody. It is. It is. You're only just realising it, my love. Now I do feel really bad. Good. A little bit of humble I pie. Know, I know. Do Trigger you good. Me. But the little look on her face says, oh, well. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes a good... Um, Good effort at pretending to be contrite, but the face gives her away every day. I hope she never goes to Vegas. Never go to Vegas, Bab, and get involved in one of those uh, card games because you give your hand away every time you face it. I mean, I thought my face gave me away, but yours is terrible. You don't give a shit, do you, darling? 
coach tent. I don't know. She's starting to go I now. I love him. I mean a lot. Starting to get a little bit dozy again. You can see it in her eyes. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I picture being in bed with him and... Uh, what, him lighting up a fag when you're, when you're not very well and you've got a bad chest that you were complaining about the other night? I don't know. I'm looking at me. In moments like that, you know. Uh huh. They just jab you right in the heart. You know when you picture like the person's face and it just like squeezes you. I know we're terrible together. <clears throat> so what do you miss him for if you know? Anything's better than nothing. So I have some oh. trips books. Oh, very good, very good. This is what we like to hear. Going on some trips, doing something like this. I, I jumped ahead there a bit too much. So I have some trips booked for our winter wonderland. Good. Did you hear Pete's birth? And I have also. Mm -hmm. For the first week of February. Mm hmm And I have that collab. Yeah. And... I have... Yes. No, um, it's not more wise. I'm waiting. Um, listening. Listening. Come on. Come on. Come on. Spit it oh, out, darling. Fett. Right on. The Eternals. Oh, I want to watch that. The Great North. <laughs> She's reading off oh, the telly, cool. isn't she? Find a nice guy with a car and a job. Coffee yeah. drinker. <laughs> yeah. And teeth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're still still doing the winter wonderland thing. Good. Get you out and about. Oh, the fresh I air. I want to watch Cinderella. Can you believe he asked me to bring wine? I don't know. <laughs> no, I have to block him. Stop it. He's going to be annoying. That's why. Why? What else did you promise so him? For doing that some more, but... Horrible for using them as pawns in this. Pawns? But there's no game afoot because Nada hasn't took the bait, Bab. For you to have this game playing. I've been with somebody who's brought out this level of crazy in me. No, 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 no. That's the same. That statement is the same as people who say, Oh, well, he's an alcoholic. That's why he's violent. You know, it's the drink. No, 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 no. The alcohol doesn't turn a man violent. It just opens the door to the cage of the monster that's in that man anyway. He hasn't made you crazy. You're crazy already, lovey. You've got a lot of problems. Okay, you could fill an A... An A5 jotter with what problems you've got. You're crazy anyway. He hasn't made you crazy. He's just... you. He's just the the spark that's, that's sparked your crazy to come out of you. Do you know what I mean? I feel an attachment to him in a way that... I can't really explain. It's not explainable, is it? Because it's daft. It's not logical. But it's really strong. Oh, I know it's strong. It's got you going back and forth like a bloody yo-yo. So, it's really hard. To fight you. But well, at the same time, there is a lot of peace. When I'm here at home. Like. Of course there is a lot of peace. Because you're in bubble land, aren't you, darling? You're in the weed Disneyland. 
you're in marijuana heaven. It's not necessarily peaceful. It's just that you are out of it. You know, you could have World War Three going on in your living room and you wouldn't know anything about it because you're ganja mad. You're zombified by that bloody puffy puff. I'm not going to fucking lie about that. Oh my God, these are those like legging things. I, I'm not going to lie about that. Like I, yeah. Oh, what's happened? It's gone blank. <laughs> we back. Mo is not made up. Oh, we're still on about Mo. So many folks care about you. Even they do. Even when you get upset with your ways, you are mm. loved. I don't always like you. <laughs> oh, thank you. A Joyce lot of people gone care about you. Well, it's a shame you don't I know care it's about hard yourself. To like me, huh? It's very hard. Thank you for the super very hard to like you. Very hard. You know, you irritate the fuck out of me. Just looking at you sometimes irritates me. And many a time I've been caught by my husband, by my son, yelling at the laptop screen. And it's crazy. I'm a middle-aged woman. Shouldn't be getting angry and shouting and bawling at some complete and utter stranger on a laptop screen. But you just drive me crazy. You're frustrating. It's sad to see another woman living the way you do. And what's sadder still is the fact that you have so much opportunity. There are so many adventures in life that you could be going on. You were born and bred in a first world country. So many opportunities. It's all there at your fingertips. You earn good money, you live comfortably, you know, you've got a, health, a decent healthcare system in your country, job opportunities, all sorts, and you appreciate nothing. You do nothing, you achieve nothing, you go nowhere, and you could be so much more than what you are. This is why you frustrate people. This is why you drive them crazy. This is why they get angry with you. Because you have all the resources and you do nothing with it. And yet there are some people, some women in places in this world that are literally slaves. Slaves. They have no opportunity. They have no voice. They don't even have ownership of their own body and they would give their right arm to be Canadian, to live in Canada and have all the opportunities of education, work, travel, socialising. I mean, the list just goes on. And there are a lot of people, you have a lot of members, you have a lot of subscribers that think a lot of you, despite all your frailties, despite all your addictions, despite the things that you say and do. And you don't appreciate it. You've got to sort yourself out, Bab. You cannot carry on like this. You, you can't do it. You're going to do yourself in. I can see it coming. You've got to start living your life, Bab. Because you're not living at the minute. You're existing. You're floating around on a nice uh, marijuana cloud. And one day you're going to fall off it. I can see it coming. You've got to stop all this. It's no good for you. And for the message. I mean. <clears throat> I'm just going to be honest about how I feel from here on out. And you guys can react how you want, you know. But I just. I just feel really sad. Why? Yeah, I feel bad. I don't know, I just feel bad all around. You okay. don't know. Uh, you don't know how you feel, do that's you? That's really, really descriptive, isn't it? Uh -huh. She don't know how she feels because she feels nothing. Because at the moment she's in this marijuana bubble, like I said, she can't feel anything. That's why she likes it so much. Because when you're off your head and you're as high as a kite, 
You can't feel anything. You can't reflect on anything. You can't think straight. You can hide away. It's like, you know, putting your head in the sand. You don't have to deal with normal life and that's what she likes about it. That's why she likes to run to it. Because when she's like this, she doesn't have to do anything. She doesn't have to sort anything out. She can hide away from herself. That's what she wants to do. She wants to hide away from herself and reality and her own life. Because she just can't face it. And when she's high, her brain can't work. Because you see, the, the one thing you can't run away from is your mind. Your mind is the worst prison. Never mind these prisons in Russia and Pakistan and these Arab countries. The prison of your own mind, your own conscience, your inner voice talking to you. That's the worst prison ever. Because you can't unzip your body and step out of yourself. It's always there thoughts, memories flashing into your mind. You can't sleep, tossing and turning because your mind just won't leave you alone. And that's why she likes the feeling of being high because she can run away from that because her brain's not functioning right. <laughs> what? Mo. Jane, I I feel fortunate about a lot of stuff. <coughs> Give me a minute, guys, okay? <laughs> I think Dee Dee is gone. Oh, never mind, bloody Dee Dee. Nick is the bloody Dee Dee. We're worrying about that gal for. She's getting bullied. And he blamed it on me, so. Why were your little friends making a life of misery, were they? I don't know. The heart wants what the heart wants, right? There's no mm -hmm. logic to it. But then the brain says to the heart, you're no good for me, so I'm not going to have you. How about that bugger? Three things I loved about him. His cooking... He's cooking. He's cooking. That pineapple upside down cake had no cherries on it for a start. So it's not a proper pineapple upside down cake. And to be perfectly frank with you, has, as I said in my video, it looked like a pile of middle-aged titties. That's what it looked like. All just slopped on top of each other. It looked pants, I'm sorry. And... Yes, I am a bit of an expert when it comes to baking. I'm a very good baker, actually. Cakes, cookies, all sorts. So, you know, and I'm, even though it's a bit boastful, I've got to say, my pineapple upside down cake is delicious. It borders on fabulous. And I know, like I said, that's a bit prideful, me banging my own bongos, but sometimes... You just have to. He's not a good cook. Go on, next thing. And um, that he's funny. Funny? What, funny looking? Funny Bert, you find weird? Him funny when he... How is he funny? He's not funny. He's bloody rude. He's not funny at all. And sex, well... You can get that with anything. I mean, yeah, you, know, you could do that with yourself. So that's no attribute. In fact, it'd probably be more sets satisfying for yourself, with yourself rather, or by one of those appendages. Great, too sad. No, not all the time. Some jokes, yes. But he has a weird sense of humour. Some people might see that as degrading. I mean, oh, stop making excuses for him. It was bloody rude. Yeah, but it has to be like a mental health crisis. Like, you don't know what. Uh, 
They would never. I'm totally sane. You're totally sane? No, I'm chicken. I'm never. <laughs> You're too sandwichy short of a picnic. She eats like an animal. She's really... Is it kicking in, Bab, that edible? I think edible? uncomfortable with him like that. Like, I can fart. Oh, fart. wow. It's destined to be marry him quick, propose. That's every girl's really dream, isn't seen. it, that? When you're a babby and you're thinking, oh, when will I meet my Prince Charming? And will I be able to fart in front of him? I and mean, it was the first thing I thought of when I met my husband. I thought to myself... Are you the sort of man that could be amenable to me farting at any time? In a, in a, a variable uh, di um, disguises of um, soft, small, big, loud, stinky, not so stinky, silent but deadly. I mean, that's not an attribute. And anyway, your fella has got no <laughs> saying whether or not um, you're going to fart in front of him. Because if you're going to pump, you're going to pump. You can't hold in a pump. Here and there. It comes out whether you like it or not. Pig out. I guess, like, no matter what time of day it is, if I'm hungry, he'll cook for me. Oh, <laughs> no. <coughs> Go visit Egypt or the Caribbean, yeah. Yeah, do Thank it. You. Go on. Go on holiday. You're Have right a break. Birth. I shouldn't accept it, right? Thanks, sweet Jane. You guys are so sweet trying to pump me up. No, that's really nice of you. <clears throat> it's common sense. It's true. Like, I don't get that. Like, why can't you compliment Dee Dee? And, well, you, look how you talk about me online. Yeah, well, he respects Dee Dee, obviously. He respects her. He doesn't respect you. He thinks badly of you. That That's why he compliments her and says nice things about her. Because he can't poke any holes in her character. It's quite simple, darling. Well, because you're freaking me. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I don't want to talk about the <laughs> same shit. I can see why you're Well, then come up it. with some new content, darling. Come up with some new ideas. You do want to talk about it. It's all you want to talk about. And, oh, and I've just thought. Perhaps Dee Dee doesn't put up with any bullshit from him. Perhaps Dee Dee, at some point in the past... Put a line in the sand. Perhaps Nada knows he can't treat Dee Dee the way he treats you. Ever thought of that? <clears throat> he don't compliments Dee Dee only to hurt me. Hmm. No, Luffy. Do no. Like this color. It's ham color. But it's a nice bra, right? Luffy, put it away. I am not to show my bra. Oh, yeah. But why would you want to? I remember I have a purple one like this, too. You're right, Capricorn Fairy. You think Gatno is shady. You'll have a hard time in Egypt. Well, it's a different kind, though, you know what I mean? Or no? Well, it's a desert heat, isn't it? I think e it's dry. come on, it's just a bra. Don't be so freaking uptight. Just keep it to yourself. A red lace one. Underwear is called underwear because you're supposed to wear it under your clothes. It's not supposed to be out and loud and proud. Charlie, maybe if I obeyed every single thing he said. Oh, man. I don't... No, it's not possible. Not for you, darling, because no one tells you what to do. Yeah. No one's the yeah. boss of you, are they? That's yeah. what you said in the other video. It's not possible to do that. No, not for you. I'm anyway. not going to stop talking to Pete. Like he's my like, best friend. Mm. And BB is like good to me. Yeah. And 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You like boobies? She's making me nod off. <laughs> Wake up, Lou. You're right, or I'm shaking. I can't let it beats forever. No, you can't. But, well, I mean, why not? If I'm, uh, once I get into a relationship, but. Or change your life, or move forward yeah, with your life. I don't know. Perhaps use some of this money that you make on YouTube to buy a house, prepare like for your future. It's just so demanding, like, like it's all of a sudden such a huge deal, you know what I mean? Like, I want him to be a softy. You want him to be submissive. Well. Well, Not that one, kid. He wants you to be submissive. You know what I mean? But also just, I don't know. I like men that are just more soft. I guess. But you've, you've had them before? Are. And they bored you? Can you believe I was going <laughs> to drive to Montreal? Look oh, we're still on about Mo. See how impulsive I am? Terrible. You want to get I'm that sorted? Him, no, I I don't want to go get a C cup. I can't. I can't go right now. No. Nando is going live now. Don't you dare! Is it what's her face there? She's desperate to get she on said there. She wasn't she? there. Desperate to go on. It's some sort of connection with him. No, you see. we're not over him, remember? Well, get over we him. We want to be over him. Yes, you're right, we do. Yes, you do. You need to, darling. Oh, I don't want to go get my stuff. <laughs> Why not? I don't think I can go tonight anyway. Why don't you yeah, want to go and get your him. stuff? Is that because that would mean it would be the end of it? It's got to end, kid. You've got to do it. You need that CPAP machine. I really hope karma's real. And yes, I hope I even get my own karma. I think perhaps you What's will, sweetheart. There? gather myself so I just have to get over it right yeah you need to get over it sort yourself out kid like, I feel like I really actually have to you do like like I actually have to really do it now yes you know what I mean I know what you mean I've been telling you oh, for days weeks I was supposed oh, to she's go back again night, but Again, the other video. Um, that was it. That's as far as I got. She got a little bit teary. She got a little bit upset with herself. Um, she needs to get over it. She needs to sort herself out. You know, she's just... She can't carry on like it. And she's got to get that bloody machine. See, it's worrying to think that she's could be going to sleep and if something happens to her in the middle of the night you know and she stops breathing you know Pete might not hear it you know might not know she has one of those machines for a reason she needs to have it and I hope that sod hasn't done anything to it she needs to pull herself together she needs to go and fetch all of her stuff and she needs to get back home and start with her, the rest of her life she needs to start living instead of existing. You see what I mean? See how sad it was in the end? Really was quite sad. You know, I'm not quite the old cow back <laughs> that you might think I am. I'm, my heart hasn't frozen over yet. At the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm a human being. I'm a mum. 
and those of you watching that are parents as well you know you look at somebody like her and even though she drives you crackers as I said you'd hate to think that she was your daughter and that was what was happening happening to her and that that's how your daughter was living be very upsetting you wouldn't know what to do yourself anyway I think I'm done um, I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow. I will try, but I've got a few things on tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, until I see you again, take care of yourselves. You know, I love you loads. I really, really do. Thank you for all my new subscribers, by the way. Oh, yes, I must mention that before I tootle pip off for a cup of tea and a ciggy myself. But there's no marijuanas in mine. I'm nutty enough. Um, thank you to everybody that's recently joined. I uh, hope you're enjoying the channel. Any ideas, any suggestions, bung them in the comment section below. I do like to read them. Um, I do work. I do have a full-time job aside from this. So bear with me. I do like to uh, write back as quick as possible. But if, if you know, sometimes it's the following day and that, please bear with me. Um, and thank you for all my lovely comments and messages. You really cheer me up, you know. It's fabulous. It really is. I'm, I'm having such a lovely time, you know. Life begins after 40, I think. It's, right, it's true what they say. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I love you loads. See you later. Bye.